Okay, everyone, as you start to come online, maybe just let me know who's here. I can't really see who's coming in. We're going to have a yoga nidra meditation, guided meditation tonight. I'm just waiting for some people to come online here. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Oh, hi, Carolyn. I'm just going to wait a few minutes for a few more people to come online, and then we'll get started. Hey, Janelle. How are you? <laughs> How'd your interview go? Hey, Tanya. Hey, Joe. Hey, Tracy. <laughs> Hi, Tanya. Oh, again? Oh, boy. All right. Got to work on that internet. So we'll get a, f get a few more minutes. So when, we, when I guide you through this practice, it's best to lie down flat on your back. Um, and you can prop a pillow underneath your thighs for a little bit of support. The knees can have a little bit of bend in them if you have any lower back issues. Um, and just make sure that you're comfortable. You want to be warm as well because the body temperatures do drop in this practice. I was guided to do this yoga nidra tonight um, because we have, we just went through the full moon and we have the cycle of eclipses and the full moon is all about releasing right releasing what is no longer serving us and the eclipses what they do is magnify the um the intensity of the moon so it gives that extra oomph to help us clear out and it's all about transformation and that's all about what we're going through right now right we're all transforming and uh, rising to higher levels of consciousness so I was guided to come on here and harness these energies um, and I, I was doing some research about the yoga nidra I wanted to find out something else I mean I've been teaching this practice for I think almost eight years now I teach it weekly and it's a very very deeply restful and healing practice um, it's sleeping with awareness because the body gets into a very restful state and the mind stays awake and aware and you go through deep levels of your consciousness, uh, deep levels of your being. And as I was researching something, um, we have, you know, we have all these energy channels in the body. They're called nadis. And the three main energy channels are ida, which is our feminine energy, pingala, which is our uh, masculine energy and then we have the shishumna nadi that runs up the base of the spine and those two nadis wrap around the spine and also that shishumna nadi I'm going to just give you a quick crash course here <laughs> and the shishumna nadi goes through all the ch the um, chakras those are the vortexes of energy the energy channels in the body so if they're um, clogged or not functioning right you know then we have all these issues in the body and as we go through the yoga nidra and the mind starts to relax, the body is in a very calm state, um, that shishumna nadi can start to awaken. And when that starts to awaken, that's when the kundalini, you know, you've heard Rick talking about the kundalini rising. Um, it, it goes up the shishumna nadi. And this practice starts to help balance the chakras in the body and along with other practices. And it just, it's a really 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 deeply healing practice um, and 15 to 30 minutes of this practice is equivalent to three to four hours of really deep sleep and also um, what did I want to say um, oh the most potent part of this practice is when you set your sankalpa which is your intention 
what happens in this practice, the conscious mind steps back and the subconscious mind steps forward. And we set that intention in the beginning of the practice and I take you through eight stages. I'm going to take you through the full practice tonight. And towards the end of the practice and that subconscious mind is forward and you plant that seed of intention once again in that subconscious mind and it becomes very, very powerful. So I often tell my students, be careful what you ask for <laughs> because over time it will come to fruition because it is very powerful, powerful planting that seed of intention in the subconscious mind. So with that being said, I don't want to keep rambling on here. Um, I can tell you more. I can write up a post about this because it is quite an amazing practice. All right, so find yourself into, uh, find your way into a nice comfortable position lying down. Um, like I said, you can support your thighs, slide up maybe a pillow or um, roll up a blanket underneath your thighs. Just have a little bit of bend in your knee, take a little bit of strain off the lower back. I'm going to flip, oh, I don't know if I could do that here. I was going to flip the camera around. Um, I don't think I can do that here. Uh, let me just, let me see one thing. Oh, I can. I just wanted to flip the camera around um, and just have it focus on that pillow a little bit. Um, so the focus is not on me. And, but you're going to close your eyes. This is just in case somebody comes on and, um, you know, or if somebody wants to sit during the practice, they can just stare at that little lotus flower and, um, and whatnot. So I'd just rather be in the background here. You can listen to my voice. So go ahead, lie down and close your eyes. Make sure that you're really comfortable. I have a little bit of music playing in the background. I hope you can hear that as well. And perhaps tuck your shoulder blades under your back. Let your eyes close here. And take a deep inhale through your nose. And as you exhale, sigh it out through your mouth, letting go of your day, your morning, your week, whatever it is that you need to release. And start to bring your awareness to your breathing. As you're breathing in and out through the nose. Breathing deep down into the body, inviting your breath all the way down into your belly. So you feel your belly expanding on your inhale and contracting back in towards your spine on your exhale. Feel your breath like gentle waves flowing through the body. Allowing the thoughts in your mind to drift away. Allowing your body to settle here onto the ground. Being supported by the comfort of Mother Earth. Opening up to receive her gift of healing this evening. There is no way to do this practice wrong. Keep listening to my voice as I guide you. Take a few moments now to set your sankalpa. It's an intention or resolve for yourself. Going deep within, allow your awareness to flow with your breath all the way down into the body, down into your heart space. And let your awareness settle there. 
deep into the heart. And listen to what it is that your heart and soul are longing for. Take some time here. Let your heart speak to you. Have your intention. Go ahead, repeat it to yourself three times. And repeat it the same exact way all three times. And state that intention as if it is happening this very moment. An example, instead of saying, I will be happy, state it with intent. I am happy. And now allow your awareness to flow through your body as I guide you on a journey of sensation. Let your mind move freely from one space to the next. I'll be moving a bit quick so you don't linger or think. And just allow your awareness to flow. Bring awareness to the palms of your hands. the backs of your hands, <clears throat> your fingers, your wrists, elbows, upper arms, shoulders, armpits, collarbones, throat center, navel center, heart center. chin, jaw, mouth, lips. Notice where your lips touch. Feel the inside of the mouth, upper teeth, and gums, lower teeth and gums. Notice sense of taste in the mouth. Cheekbones, nose, nostrils, Noticing sense of breath flowing through the nostrils. Cool sensations on the inhale. Warm sensations on the exhale. The ears. Notice your ears receiving sound listening. 
feel your ears hearing. Your eyes, noticing your eyes as energy. Notice where your eyelids touch. Eyebrows, space between the brows, the third eye, forehead, temples, crown of the head, back of your head, back of the neck, shoulder blades, the upper back, middle back, lower back, hips, backs of the thighs, backs of the knees, calf muscles, ankles, heels, your toes, Tops of the feet, ankles, shins, kneecaps, fronts of the thighs, hips, navel center heart center, notice the whole right arm, palm of the right hand, back of the right hand, and the right fingers, throat center, Whole left arm, left palm, back of the left hand, the left fingers, throat center, navel center. Whole right thigh, front and back. Whole left thigh, front and back. Right kneecap. Left kneecap. Right lower leg. Left lower leg. Ankles, top of the right foot, sole of the right foot, the right toes, top of the left foot, sole of the left foot, and the left toes. Feel the whole right side of the body, whole left side of the body, whole front of the body, and the whole back of the body.
feel now the whole body together. The whole body together. The whole body together. Become aware of your breathing once again. Feel every inhale and become aware of every exhale. And begin to count every exhale Begin at 30, counting your way down to zero. If you lose track, just begin again at 30. Every exhale, counting. Letting go of any counting now of your breath. I'm going to guide you through a practice of Nadi Shodhana, which is alternate nostril breathing, but using just your awareness. So once again, take a few rounds of natural breath in and out through the nose. And as I instruct you, it might not feel as if it's working, but energy flows where your awareness goes. So using your awareness, just follow my voice. At the bottom of your next exhale, the following inhale, breathe in through the left nostril. Retain your breath for a moment. And as you exhale, out the right nostril. Inhaling through the right, retain the breath, exhale left. That's one complete round, we'll do a few more together. Inhale left, retain the breath, exhale right. Inhale right, retain the breath. Exhale left. Inhale left. Retain the breath. Exhale right. Inhale the right nostril. Retain the breath. Exhale left. Do one more together. Inhale left. Retain the breath, exhale right. 
Inhale the right. Retain the breath. Exhale left. Take a few more rounds on your own using just your awareness. Once again, letting go of any control of your breathing. Allow your breath to come back to its natural state. We are going to sense and feel now. So imagine your body becoming very heavy. Very heavy like cement sinking into the earth. Body is so heavy that it feels like it is sinking into the earth. Bones heavy, head heavy, torso heavy, bodies heavy like cement sinking. Create the awareness of heaviness as best you can throughout your body and become very aware of that heaviness in the body. And now imagine your body becoming light, very light and weightless. As if your body is floating away from the ground. Body is light as a feather, gently blowing in the breeze, floating, weightless. Body's light and free, floating. Create the sensation of lightness as best you can throughout your body. Becoming aware of that lightness in the body. Create the awareness of heaviness once again in the body. And feel lightness once again in the body. See if you can alternate on your own a few times between heaviness and lightness in the body. And now see if you can feel heaviness and lightness at the same time in the body.
going to take you on a journey now. Use all of your senses on this experience. Imagine that you are standing at the foot of a path that is leading into a forest. Notice the tall trees that are framing this path. Your eyes begin to follow the tree from their roots all the way to the tops. You watch the branches swaying in the gentle breeze. Above the trees, there is a beautiful full moon beginning to shine its rays illuminating the sky as day transitions into night. You begin to walk down the path, noticing all the forest smells, the smells of the trees, the moss, the cool, crisp air. With each step, you hear the soft crunch of the pine needles under your shoes. This path has led you to a clearing where now there are magnificent mountains. Your eye is drawn to the top of a particular mountain where the moonlight is shining down upon a most majestic creature. It is a dragon perched upon the top. It calls to you in a way that you fully understand, asking you to come join it. You sense no fear, only love and protection. And you run to the bottom of the mountain and jump up. Magically, you float to the top and are placed before this beauty. You notice all of its incredible details, its size, the color of its feathers, the shape and color of its eyes. It crouches down for you to climb upon its back. You hold on tightly to its feathers and you are whisked off on the most magical experience you have ever had. You are giggling like a young child as you fly through the clouds and the rainbows. And as you pass through these rainbows, you feel each of its colors deep within your being. You feel a healing on every level. There is no time or distance on this ride. So you may visit anywhere that your heart desires. You communicate where you would like to travel. And in the next moment, you arrive. And you enjoy every moment of your time there. And it's time to return 
You climb upon your dragon and fly back to the mountaintop. You jump off and thank this beautiful creature for the most magical time together. And once again, you float, but this time down off the mountain onto the ground. You walk back along the path that leads through the forest that is lined with the trees, arriving where you begin your journey. Only now, everything feels different magical. Recall now your sankalpa, your intention that you set at the beginning. Repeating it now once again to yourself in the present tense, as if it is already happening this very moment. Believe in this intention with your full body, mind, and soul. As you're planting the seed of intention in your subconscious mind. Start to become aware of your breathing once again. Feeling breath deep down into the arms and legs. And each round of breath, bringing awareness back into your physical body. Noticing the space surrounding you. Any sounds that you may be hearing. And noticing all points of contact between your body and the ground. Becoming aware of your thoughts and feelings. Start to invite some gentle movements into your fingers and your toes as you begin to wake up your physical body. And perhaps gently rock your head side to side. like to take a stretch here. Inhale, extend your arms slowly overhead. On your exhale, point your toes forward, take a stretch. And then bend your knees and roll slowly onto your right side into a fetal position. You can use your arm cradling your head. And take a few moments there.
when you're ready, very slowly start to press yourself up to sit. Take your time. Try to keep your eyes closed these last few moments. Take notice of how you're feeling. And when you're ready, you can gently blink open your eyes. So welcome back everyone. How is everyone feeling? You're very welcome, Karen. Thank you for joining me. So, of course, this is a practice. The more you practice, the more benefits you receive. Unfortunately, one practice is not uh, an end all that you have to keep practicing just like everything else um, notice how you feel over the next few hours if it's in the evening for you as it is here for me um, notice how you're feeling when you go to sleep you might have a very restful sleep tonight and like i said 15 to 30 minutes of this practice is equivalent to three to four hours of really deep sleep and the more that you practice this um, yoga nidra, the less sleep you will need because this gets into the deep levels of your being where we hold all that stress in the body and it helps to release that and the body becomes very rested and then you'll need less sleep. It's pretty amazing. I know when I went through my training, it was a, I think it was a two full weekends. Um, and we practiced yoga nidra. I think we did about five yoga nidras a day. And some people were, started saying that they were not able to sleep at night. And I was like, oh, geez, I need to sleep. How, what's going to happen? And by the last night of the second weekend, um, the same thing happened to me. I could not sleep. I was wide awake. And when I, I slept about four hours and I woke up in the morning. I felt the best I've ever felt. I was so rested. And, you know, it's just such an amazing practice and very deeply healing. So um, this, this video will be posted on Real Angels, so you can listen to it. Even though you listen to the same script over and over, you will have a different experience each time that you listen to it. That is quite amazing as well. Um, and you can also go, I think, on YouTube and you can Google. There's yoga nidras out there so you can find someone that resonates with you um, voice-wise and um, you can listen to the practice. Don't pay for anything. There's plenty of free ones out there as well. Um, and if you would like another one, I have plenty of scripts. <laughs> if you would like to join me for yo another yoga nidra, um, I'd like to hear some of your feedback. So let me just see what we have here. Yeah, this is actually the deepest form of meditation. Yeah, yeah, because it goes so deep into the body and you get into that state of where the mind is awake and asleep. So it's in that, in that, um, in that realm. So yeah, oh, you thank you, everyone. You're very, oh, you're very welcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank me. Actually, I did not have my script. I forgot my script. The only script I had was my journey script. So that was completely from, from memory. So um, I hope it was okay. Yes, it's very relaxing. Um, thank you. So namaste, everyone. I wish you a beautiful night. Enjoy the energies that are still here from the full moon. Actually, I just saw the full moon before I came in. Um, the sky was so clear. The moon is so big and bright and she's beautiful. So beautiful. So have a beautiful night 
and I will talk to you all soon. All right. Thank you. Much love. Peace. All right. Bye-bye. Good night.